Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about the initialize method in Ruby classes. So in the last tutorial, we looked at creating Ruby classes and then creating objects of those classes. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a way that we can actually make creating these objects a little bit easier. So you'll notice down here when I created my two book objects, I said book one is equal to book.new. And then I had to manually set the book's title, the book's author, and the book's pages. So just to create one book, I had to type out four full lines of code, right? And down here, I'd do the same thing. So when I created the second book, had to type out four full lines of code. And this is kind of a problem because if I wanted to create, for example, like, you know, 10 or 20 different books, it's going to take up seriously a lot of space inside of my Ruby files. Also, just having to go through and manually say like book one dot title is equal to Harry Potter and book one dot author like that gets really tedious after a while. There's actually a way that we can give our objects all this information right up front when we create them instead of having to do it manually like this. And that's by using something called an initialize method. An initialize method is actually a method that's going to get called whenever we create an object. So remember, up here we have this class, and this class is basically just a template, it's a blueprint for what a book is in our program. When I create an object, it stops being a template, it stops being a blueprint, and it becomes an actual book. So this book one object down here is representing the Harry Potter book, you know, with the author of J.K. Rowling and 400 pages. This is like a physical book that we use that template up there to create. So when we end up creating a book, we can actually give it some default information. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So up here in our class, I wanna create a method and it's gonna be called initialize. So I'm just gonna say def and it's initialize just like that. And I'm actually going to create this just like I would a normal method. So I'm gonna say n down here. Inside of these parentheses, I can actually pass some information. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys what's gonna happen. So for example, I could put a print statement here. Actually, let's do a put statement. And it's gonna say creating book. Now, when I run my program, you'll see that over here, it actually types out creating book twice. Essentially what's happening when I say book.new, this initialize method up here is getting called. So every time I use this new method down here and I call it, this initialize method is actually getting called. So if I was to pass a parameter into here, so let's have this initialize method take a parameter, like we'll have it take name. I could come over here and I could basically print out like, hello, name. So I could pass a name into here, I could say like Mike, and then down here I could say another name like Bill or whatever. And when I run my program, you'll see it's printing out hello Mike and hello Bill. So this is essentially just a method that we can call just like any other method in any of our programs. But this method's special because it gets called when we create an object. So what we can do is we can actually pass this initialize method some information and we can use that information to give our object specific information. So. Essentially what I can do over here is I can say initialize is going to accept three parameters. So when we call this new method down here, we're gonna have to pass it three things. The first thing we're gonna have to pass it is the title of the book that we wanna create. The second thing we're gonna have to pass it is the author of the book we wanna create. And the third thing is gonna be the number of pages for the book that we wanna create. So now, whenever I wanna create a book, I have to give it a title, an author, and a number of pages. Once I'm inside this initialize method, I can do something special. So I can actually take the values that the user passed in, so I can take the title, the author, and the pages, and I can assign them to the attributes of the object. So I can assign them to the title of the object, the title of the author, and the title of the pages. I can basically do what I did down here. So I can basically say like book one dot title is equal to whatever the title they passed in was. And this is gonna save us tons of time when we're writing our programs. And the way that I can do that is I can, I can just say at and I can say title is equal to title. So let me walk you guys through this line of code. When I say at title, this is referring to the title attribute in our object. It's referring to the title attribute that we defined up here. 
is referring to that title up there, right? This is saying the title of the object that we're creating is going to be equal to the title that the user passed in. Remember this title, this is just a parameter that got passed into this new method down here. This is just a parameter, just like I passed in the name, it's the same thing. We're passing it a parameter. Um, and I, I could even name this something else. I could name this like, you know, I couldn't, I can name it, you know, whatever I wanted. And, and, but I'm just calling it title because that's what it is. It's the title. So I'm setting the title of the object equal to the title that got passed in. And I can do that for all of these. So I can say the author of the object is going to be equal to the author that got passed in. And the number of pages is going to be equal to the number of pages that got passed in. And so essentially what I can do now is when I create my new book, instead of having to say like book one dot title, book one dot author, I can just take all of this information and put it up here so I can pass it into this initialize method. So I can just say Harry Potter, and this is going to be JK Rowling. And then the number of pages is just going to be 400. So I can actually get rid of all of this code over here because I don't need this anymore. And I can do the same thing for this other book down here. So we'll pass in Lord of the Rings, Tolkien and 500 pages. And I can actually just get rid of all of this stuff. So now instead of having all that other stuff, like where I had to like manually set each of those attributes, I can reduce the lines of code I have to write down to two. And this is going to do exactly the same thing as we were doing before. So I could come down here and I could, you know, print out like book two dot title, and it's still going to be able to print it out. So you'll see it's printing out Lord of the Rings. I could print out book one dot author, and it's going to be able to print that out. So I'm doing exactly what I was doing before, except now I'm making it a lot easier on myself by using this initialize method. And again, whenever we say like book dot new, this means we're calling this initialize method. We're passing it some parameters and I'm setting the attributes of the current object equal to the attribute that we pass in when we create that object. So that's how we can use that initialize method to make our lives way easier. And you're always going to want to use an initialize method for the most part, just because it makes everything so convenient. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.